Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Justin with the Millennial Mixtape and I'm back with another episode of Best Theme Song Ever. This is episode nine. So we're gonna be looking at the show called Outlander. And if you are familiar with Outlander, you know that it is a very sexy show. Oof, I feel bad for my wife. Because this is a sexy show, I feel I should kind of up the sex appeal myself. Wait, Justin, don't do what you're about to do. Who are you? And why do you look like me? I'm you, but from the future. How far in the future? Two weeks, but that's not important. And why does your facial hair look like that? Look, a lot happens in two weeks, but that's not important. Don't do what you're about to do. But I'm talking about Sam Human today. I have to, I have to look sexy. The sexy is inside of you, I guess? It, look, just don't do it. Okay, but if I don't do it and my video doesn't perform well, that's your fault. Don't worry, it won't and it is. He's gone now, so let's just keep going. Maybe not. We're back after this. Sing me a song of a lass that is gone. Say, could that last? All right, so if this is your first time tuning into Best Theme Song Ever, let me tell you how it works. Every week, I look at a different TV show theme song. I examine the premise of the show as Wikipedia reports it. I also look at the history of the song. Hopefully, there's some good information there on why they chose this song or how the song came to be. After that, I examine the theme song on four criteria, which include earworm ability intentionality of lyrics, title sequence, and timeliness of the song, or how does the song fit into the soundscape of when the show premiered. Now, if you would like more information on my rubric or how I grade, that is linked right below the like button, so give that a look whenever you're ready. And from there, we move on. So here we go. So let's look at the premise of the show, Outlander. So here's what the premise of the show is from Wikipedia, but keep in mind this is just for season one. Outlander is a historical drama television series based on the novel series of the same name by Diana Gabaldon? Gabaldon? Gabaldon. Diana Gabaldon. That's what we're going to say. In 1945, former World War II nurse Claire Randall and her husband Frank are visiting Inverness, Scotland when she is carried from the Standing Stones at Craignadu, sorry, back in time to 1743. She falls in with a group of rebel Highlanders from Clan Mackenzie who are being pursued by British redcoats led by Captain Jonathan Black Jack Randall, Frank's ancestor. She marries a Highlander, Jamie Fraser, out of necessity, but they quickly fall in love. The clan suspect her of being a spy and retain her as a healer, preventing her from attempting to return to her own time. Knowing that the Jacobite cause is doomed to fail, Claire tries to warn them against rebellion. Her husband Jamie is captured, tortured, and f***ed by the sadistic Randall, but Claire and his clansmen rescue him. Claire tells Jamie that she's pregnant and they set sail for France. Alright, up next, let's talk about the history of the song. I was sleeping here. Why? The tap room's full of townsmen. I've gone with drink. Okay, so this theme song does have a name and it has an extraordinary history. So the history nerd in me is geeking out a little bit. I taught history at a middle school and now like I'm talking about like my jam. Like I love this stuff. So the song is actually called the Sky Boat Song, Sky with an E, right? It's composed by Bear McCreary. This song is composed by Bear McCreary and it's sung by Rhea Yarbrough. I'm gonna try not to bore you too much more than you already are already. But let me just give you kind of like the back because this is like this is super <laughs> cool to me so the text of the song gives an account of the bonnie prince charlie disguised as a serving maid escaping in a small boat after the defeat of the jacobite uprising in 1745 which is if you've watched the show you know that that is the battle of culloden which is kind of the big culminating event of season one and he escapes with the aid of floor mcdonald all right so here's where the original lyrics say again i'm sorry i'm like so geeking out on this so here's what the original lyrics say and if you can put them to the melody because it's the same melody speed bonnie boat like a bird on the wing onward the sailors cry carry the lad that's born to be king over the sea to sky like 
and it's beautiful. <laughs> like, I just love that so much. Like, I think that that is probably, this is probably the coolest theme song that we've done just on that account alone, that it's based on a real historical event. So then what happened in like 1885, Robert Louis Stevenson, who's an author, you probably know the book, Treasure Island, hears the song, hears the lyrics, and decides to write something a little bit more plantative. And so he comes up with the lyrics, which are modified by Brer McCreary for the show. So then what Robert Louis Stevenson does is he changes the lyrics from what I just read to sing me a song of a lad that is gone. Say, could that lad be I? Merry of soul, he sailed on a day over the sea to sky. So what Bear McCreary does is he just takes this song that's in Scottish folklore, takes the lyrics that Robert Louis Stevenson wrote, and makes the song. Like there are as much craft and care and love and detail in this theme song as there are in Sam Hewen's workout routine for his chest, abs, and arms. I had to do it, right? We needed some eye candy. I'm not cutting it, so there we go. I'm done geeking out. I spent way too much time on that, so let's go ahead and talk about the four criteria. First up, earworm ability. So here's where we run into problems. It is cool, to me at least, that this 19th century song recounts the story of the Bonnie Prince Charlie running away from the Battle of Culloden and that's reflected in the show. Like all of that stuff is so cool. But it's still an old song and it still feels like an old song. And even though Mr. McCreary took so much care to put in traditional Scottish instruments like pipe flutes and things like that, it still feels old. And because it feels old on modern ears, it doesn't have that lasting charm that a traditional earworm would. So because of that, like if we put this up against like Fresh Prince or the Golden Girls even, like it's not, it's not gonna do well. Like you'd have one of those stuck in your head longer than you would this, even though it's catchy enough. I don't wanna fault Mr. McCreary for all of the amazing work that he did in crafting this one theme song, but at the same time, it's just not really an earworm. So for earworm ability, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of four. And now our next criteria, intentionality of lyrics. Are you mad, woman? You can see every inch of you. So here again, we have a little bit of trouble because we're taking a poem that was written in 1885 or 1892. I've seen two different sources on that. And then trying to re-juxtapose it to a show that is set in 1745, but also 1945. And it's just, it's weird how all that works. So you can't make a perfect fit, just like we ran into with the Golden Girls. That song was written over a decade before the Golden Girls aired. So you can't make the puzzle pieces fit like you would if this song was crafted specifically for the show, as cool as it might be. When I get to the title sequence, it's gonna score some extra points on that. But for right now, just based on what the lyrics say, we're not really getting the same full intentionality that we would if this had been crafted specifically for the show. So for intentionality of lyrics, I'm giving it another 2.5 out of 4. All right, now let's talk about title sequence. Let me go and change first the carriage. I'm not decent going to yours taken like this. Don't worry yourself about that, laddie. We will outfit you proper inside. So here's some redeeming qualities for Outlander. So the title sequence is very well crafted to the theme song. I feel like you get a very good sense of this kind of like mythicism that's kind of surrounding it. Right? You've got the Scottish folklore, you've got images of Craig Nadoon, you've got some witches. And what I love about the show is it does kind of like, if you watch the show, you see teases and clips from episodes to come. And so as a viewer of the show, when you watch it, you're like, oh, when are we gonna see that? When are we gonna see that? And I think that that's really cool that they've kind of intertwined that throughout. So something else of note, each season of the show has an iterative change to the theme song and the title sequence. So we get glimpses of the mainstays, right? We get glimpses of Craig Nadoon, and we see Claire, we see Jamie, but as they shift from region to region and time to time, the arrangement changes. So in season five, spoiler, they're in America. And so you have more Americanized like choral arrangements as opposed to traditional Scottish arrangements. So I feel like they do a really good job of coordinating and updating that for each successive season. Because they did such a good job crafting that around the song, that works really well. So title sequence is gonna get a little bit better. It's gonna get a three out of four for me. And lastly, timeliness of the song. I come to you as kinsman and as ally. 
I give you no value. So Outlander premiered on August 9th, 2014. The number one song at the time in America was Rude by the band Magic. The song is catchy as hell, as you'd expect from any one hit wonder. I went on to listen to some of their other stuff and like still kind of got that like reggae influence. There's a little bit more reggaeton in the newer stuff. So boom, ka -boom, ka -boom, ka -boom. So if you want that, that's there. But because the show is set in Scotland, I want to do something a little different. So the number one song in Scotland is Rude by Magic. Sometimes I don't like how interconnected we are by the internet, and this is one of those times. Again, we're running into a song that was written in the 19th century, and then <laughs> we're trying to like fit it to this, which is the whole point. I think it would be a different situation if the song was written currently for the show, but that's just not what happened. Uh, and try as they might, I think that they have done a really good job in getting the show and the theme song to kind of mesh as well as they can. Ultimately, you're dealing with a song that is just old. <laughs> it's just old. And so modern sensibilities about music and sonic textures and flavors don't really apply here. And so for timeliness, this song isn't timeless like some of our other songs. It is a product of its time and it doesn't fit in very well at all with what else is going on. So for timeliness of the song, I'm going to have to give it a one. All right, so going into our final tally, Outlander has a two and a half, a two and a half, a three and a one. Average all that up and we get a total score of 56, which is an F, but it's still a great show. And oddly enough, with the content of the show, an F is fitting adult joke. That was best theme song ever. Outlander coming in with a 56F. Maybe your show could do better. Tell me in the comments what show you want me to do next. Again, these drop every week on Monday, so like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell gizmo so you're notified of every new best theme song ever. Also, my giveaway is still ongoing. It'll be going until August 1st. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, so if you would be so kind to be entered in the giveaway, you need to like the video, comment, and share, share, share. Just comment shared, comment what you're enjoying about the video, comment what TV show I should do next, anything is fine, but I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I'm currently at 83. Getting to 100 would really help the visibility of the channel, so we're working, working, working towards that. If you win the giveaway, what I'm giving away is either a gift card to iTunes or Google Play, your choice, or because my big series is best theme song ever. I will give away a season of your favorite show digitally provided it's on Vudu, Amazon, iTunes, or Google Play. I will gift that to you through email. Like, share, and subscribe. That easy. Oh, and comment. You can't forget that. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Again, I'm Justin with the Millennial Mixtape. This was episode nine, best theme song ever, Outlander. Join me next week. Let's see what's coming up. And over here is a video that you might want to check out. Go ahead and give it a click. And I will see you next time. I'll try not to step through the stones.